Today we are going to do some myth busting by talking about one of my all time favorite topics, wedging, right after this. <laughs> Hi, Tom from TDK Ski Racing here, combining ski instruction with race coaching, helping you become a better skier. First, let's go through the fundamentals. Wedging is a downhill skiing technique used for slowing down and for turning. The skis are tracking narrow at the tips and wider at the tail. It is also called a snowplow because it pushes the snow to the sides. Sometimes it's also called a pizza slice due to its shape, usually with small kids. In a wedge, your skis are brushing sideways over the snow, both tipped on their inside edges. By adjusting the size of the wedge, you are at the same time adjusting the edge angles of your skis and thereby you are able to speed up or slow down. A smaller wedge with smaller edge angles will make you go faster, while a bigger wedge with bigger edge angles will slow you down. A wedge can also be used for turning and is the most common technique we use to teach beginners. Wedging is very important and it is a great teaching ground for teaching the four skills important in skiing. Balance, edging, rotation and pressure. The myth I want to bust today is a delusional way of initiating the wedge. I frequently hear ski instructors issue the following advice. Don't push your heels out. Instead, steer your skis into a wedge by rotating your skis from underneath your feet. Here is the problem as I see it. As you rotate your feet, your ski tips will cross. In order not to cross your tips, you would have to have an overly wide stance. Here is the demo. I'm forced into an overly wide stance in order to be able to steer my skis into a wedge if I pivot them from underneath my feet. I need to keep my lower legs vertical to the snow which forces me into this crazy looking cowboy stance. In this next demo I'm starting out from a hip wide stance and guiding my skis out into a wedge by pivoting them from around a pivot point close to the ski tips. This movement is easy for a student to comprehend and carry out on his own. Pressure builds up as the wedge increases but it all happens very naturally and the student can concentrate on the surroundings. Could there be a combination of both at the same time? Good question. However, if your ski tips are not moving during the time of wedging, then your pivot point is close to the ski tips. However, steering the skis into a wedge would always have to include the ski tips coming closer to each other. So if that is not happening, then you are pivoting from a pivot point close to the ski tips, pushing your heels out. Myth busted. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching. Take your vitamins and see you in the next video.